Dear friends, welcome back to Vino Info. We are discussing about the importance of language as a negotiator and deal making individual. So, from that perspective, if we can manage or if we can explore the intersection of language and our negotiation skills, then it holds key to success. It can open up a plethora of opportunities that otherwise are not available to us because we as a communicator always go to individuals with an idea to make a deal, cut a deal or negotiate a solution. So from that perspective, if we explore or if we uncover the importance of effective communicator across language barrier, then we are always a successful person. So from that perspective, when we go to communicate across the linguistic region, across the cultural region, then how do we uncover the potential, hidden potential of an effective communicator is actually the thing that we must understand because each individual communicates differently at different different times with different different persons, with different different cultural conditions and if we are sensitive to their needs, their understanding, then we are highly successful people. There are several key advantages of having control over your language. It means if you are proficient, you have first advantage in terms of strategic advantage. Because you are clearer in your approach, selection of words are proper, selection of sentences are proper, and you are culturally sensitive, you understand the nuances of other cultures. So, when you are going to communicate and if you are proficient, then you are always mindful of selection of your words, which will be caring others, cultural sensitivity, which will be careful or mindful about others' linguistic issues. So, from that perspective, what happens? We establish some kind of close relationship with that individual and he or she agrees to at least listen. So, possibility of we working or some kind of deal is a reality, is a possibility. So, this is the strategic advantage of being a proficient communicator because we are clearer in our approach, we are mindful about the kind of negotiation that we need to carry out with that individual. So, we are successful. Then there is trust and rapport building with your partner. Because if you have multilingual capacity, it means if you are proficient in your communication skill and you have capability to hold negotiation in multilingual way, then what happens? You have control over several languages, so you can pick a language of your choice to communicate, which will be more conducive to the targeted audience requirement. So as a result of that, there will be trust building and there will be a rapid building and that will help you in carrying out the negotiation in proper manner. Am I right? So, this productive atmosphere is created only because you have capability or you have built up your capability to organize negotiation in multiple languages. So, your control over several languages becomes an asset for you when you are entering into a negotiation or you have gone to discuss something on behalf of either your company or you are representing yourself or you are going as a salesman or you are going as an strategic negotiator or you are going to as a defense negotiator, so whatever be the conditions, multilingual capabilities are the most sought after requirement of the current day industries. Then there is third advantage that you can overcome several barriers, which actually result due to you being non-proficient or you being ineffective communicator. If you have proficiency in language, if you understand the language properly and if you understand the sensitivity of others' language, then what happens? The trust is already built, you have a strategic advantage, then third advantage is that you overcome the linguistic barrier because you understand what kind of language will impede your communication, what kind of language will improve your communication, what kind of language will help you build rapid with that individual and you can directly access to his mind. So from that perspective, all the linguistic barriers you overcome because you have proper understanding of your own language and what you want to communicate to your targeted audience. All linguistic barriers are overcome if you have control over several languages. If you have language proficiency, then you are always a successful person. See, when you are going to your intended target or 
you have goal with a purpose, then the core idea is to convey a message and secure a favorable outcome. Am I right? So every individual whosoever is holding any kind of negotiation with anybody or going to communicate anything, the core idea is to secure a favorable outcome because you want outcome to favor your requirement. So from that perspective, what you need to do, you need to influence some way to your targeted audience or persuade him or her to accept your ideas. That can happen only when you are a proficient communicator. It means if you are communicating with your targeted audience and you have got persuasive skills or you have got convincing skills, then possibility of you succeeding in your communication is a reality. Or you can only succeed if I am to tell it this way that communication holds key to your success as a persuader, as a negotiator, as a person who wish to influence his target. Am I right? Or each one of you understand that a successful negotiator or successful deal maker and unsuccessful deal maker can be differentiated on only one parameter that the one communicator has been able to overcome all the say different opinion, all the misunderstanding happening between the two and those who are unsuccessful are not in a position to mitigate those differences. And these differences are either magnified or reduced through your communication skill. So, if you are a proficient communicator, then you have another advantage that you reduce the tension point, you reduce the conflicting point, you reduce the differences with your targeted audience and you speak in a language that he more or less conquers with your idea and he more or less agrees with your idea. So what happens? As a result of that, it helps you to carry out smoother discussion with your targeted audience because if somebody is in a congenial atmosphere, he is ready to pay attention to whatever you are saying, then possibility of you succeeding is higher. So better deals and terms. These are negotiated through discussions and these discussions will happen only when you are a proficient communicator. So all the misunderstanding you need to remove through your negotiation, through your communication scheme. So you can succeed only when you are a good communicator. Dear friends, communication holds the key to resolving all conflict in the world because conflict is actually an outcome of two different opinion and opinion is nothing but communication it means when you are communicating and if you are using a proper word or if you are not mindful of the sentiment of others then possibility of conflict arising is a reality so how do you resolve this conflict again the conflict will be resolved through communication so communication holds key to success or key to resolving a conflict because kind of communication that will happen and the kind of argument that you should put forth, it will be structured through several words and several sentences. So when you are trying to convince somebody, you are trying to establish a relation with somebody, you are trying to convince somebody to agree with your idea, then he must be convinced. And in completing all this process, you need to communicate. You need to hold several rounds of negotiation. You need to hold several kind of you need to open up several lines of communication to resolve the conflict. So all mutual trust will be built through communication and all misunderstanding will be resolved through communication. So you can understand the importance of communication because communication actually encompasses entire domain of your life. Nothing happens in this world without you communicating with one group, another group, with your family members, with your friends, with your organizational bosses, with your colleague, with your client, with your suppliers. So wherever you go, communication is happening. So communication is your lifelong companion. And if you are not mindful of your companion, then either there will be a withering effect or it will become ineffective or it will lose sign. So your sign means you as an individual add brand value to yourself and you sign for a longer period of time if you are mindful of your communication screen.
because this is the value addition that you do to your body that makes you an individual with a different and you are treated differently by different people because your communication has established or created that kind of impression am i right so all the misunderstanding in agreement will be outcome of your con skill your communication skill friends as i have discussed communication skill improvement is not one day affair or it is not a 2020 game you need to focus for a longer period of time because the vocabulary building Understanding impact of words and sentences on the mind of others is an exercise which takes long time. So you need to continuously improve because several new words are added up in the system. Several words become obsolete. You need to remove those words. Then the sentence pattern also starts changing from time to time, and even the meaning and the inferences drawn from a particular word. Become different from time to time because it is the user who actually give meaning to words and sentences. So people, when using it for a different purpose, you need to understand in what context that that proper word has been used or proper sentence has been used. So if you don't keep track of the evolution of the language or the development of language happening around you, then you can never become a proficient communicator. Communication skill is a continuous process. You need to continuously improve upon it. So, if you are mindful of all the strategic advantages and if you are continuously putting effort to improve yourself on core skill parameters, then the sky is the limit. It means you can be successful at any given circumstances in any organization or anything that you dream of. Now, friends, it is your choice if you want to become a successful person or unsuccessful person. My purpose was to let you know that language building must receive priority because you who have been pursuing science studies and computer science studies, you are normally ignorant of communication scheme. And when you go to face interviews, group discussions, and other thing or whatever happening around you. If you are not aware of these events and if you are not in a position to explain these events to the outside world, then no matter wherever you work, you shall never be up to date. You shall never be responsive to the immersive environment that will challenge you from different different perspectives, from different different angles. So I hope you understand by now the importance of communication skill and. Shall keep of owning up this scheme because this is what will take you to a greater height. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, do share, subscribe, and comment on my video. Thank you.